Hi subscribers, what's up? It's me, Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the XML parsing example from TechCrunch feed by bringing the data into our activity, possibly inside a list view. Over the last few videos, I've been showing you how to read an RSS feed from TechCrunch, which was a little complicated feed, if you guys remember. Now, if you guys haven't seen the rotation proof async task videos on my playlist, please don't watch this video because this is way too complex for you guys otherwise and also ensure that you guys have seen the fragment videos so far because we are going to use a lot of those things in this video so going back to what we have in Eclipse we have our TechCrunch task which currently has all the data inside an array list hash map string string which we saw previously inside our on post execute is the place where we get all the data now we need to bring this data inside our main activity because right now the main activity is a public class and what you have is the TechCrunch task over here it's a public static class inside your main activities class in other words this has no relationship with the outside class variables in other words you can't access the list view object over here now if you go to some layout files that I've made here one of them is the custom underscore row dot XML that contains the title the image and the description over here for our list views individual items because we'll need a custom adapter that will show all the articles with their titles, the images, and their descriptions. Going back to activity underscore main dot XML, I have nothing great, just a list view over here. And of course, I don't need to show the manifest because there's nothing inside that. Going back to main activity, the first thing that we gotta remember is this: the main activity keeps rotating up and down. If you read the screen, right, it gets destroyed each time it is rotated. But if you see this placeholder fragment. It is immortal because we have said set retain instance equals true. This never gets destroyed. In fact, every time the activity gets destroyed and gets recreated, we have the on attach that gets called inside our placeholder fragment where we get the new instance of the activity. And we have the on detach getting called on the fragment every time the activity is about to be destroyed where we can wipe out the old instance of the activity. Using this on attach and on detach, we got to fill our TechCrunch task with the latest information about the activity so that it can update it. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to simply make an interface over here called interface results callback. Now this interface will have two methods. One will be called public void on pre-execute. So I'm going to go here make it on pre-execute here. The other method that I will have is on post-execute. This will be just like your async task over here that we have made so far. Now this on post execute will have an argument that is array list of hash map string string. So the entire goal behind making this interface is something like this. I want to have the interface being implemented by our main activity so that we can override the on post execute and on pre execute inside our main activity. At the same time I want our TechCrunch task to send events from our on from its on pre execute and it's on post execute to the activity using the appropriate methods of the interface. Confused? This is the reason why I said please watch the rotation proof async task video because that's exactly what I did over there. So here I'm gonna go further and let our main activity implement that interface. It's gonna be implements results callback. So we'll have to override the methods, add an implemented methods here. And that's going to be the two methods inside our activity that is on pre-execute and on post-execute. Now what I want to do next is inside our fragment which is our placeholder fragment we are aware of the latest activities instance every time the fragment is attached to the new activity object over here. So this is where I will create the callback object which will be called results callback and I'll simply call it callback here. So every time we have the on attach getting called, what I want to do is say callback equals to activity because it's true, isn't it? The activity does implement the interface callback, which means this should this statement should work perfectly. Now at the same time, whenever we detach, what I want to do is I want to say callback equals to null to make sure that the new activity has been attached again back inside our on attach. Now whenever this happens, that is the activity rotates on attach gets called our callback gets the latest value of the activities object and on detach happens callback becomes null we also want to tell our TechCrunch task about this because our TechCrunch task is gonna send 
the on pre-execute event from its on pre-execute method and the on post execute from its on post execute so let's take a look at what we are going to do here inside our TechCrunch task we are going to make two more methods over here one of them is going to be called on attach just the way we had over there so of course make it public void here the other one will be called on detach inside our TechCrunch fragment TechCrunch task that we have so this method over here on attach is going to take the latest object of results callback so that it gets the latest object to be updated on detach will set that to null so inside our TechCrunch task as well we are going to have the results callback being instantiated by saying results callback equals to null here we have the constructor for TechCrunch task where we take the results callback and of course we initialize this by saying this dot callback equals to callback and inside on attach we do the same thing this dot callback is callback over here and on detach we simply make the callback as null over here so what am I trying to do you see I'm trying to get the callback reference inside both the placeholder fragment and the TechCrunch task over here so inside our constructor where we have called start task if you guys notice this needs the callback object inside so I'm gonna place that object over here now whenever the on attach happens inside our fragment we want to tell our TechCrunch task to update its reference by calling its on attach so what we are going to do is we're going to go here inside on attach and if you're going to say if the download task is not equals to null then simply call download task dot on attach and update that with the latest object that we just got same way for the on detach inside our fragment we want to update the tech run task by saying if download tasks not equals to null simply update by saying download task dot on detach over here now why did I do all this mess now our async task is rotation proof in other words you rotate the activity up and down nothing is gonna be affected at all because we have made sure that our fragment does the appropriate updating of the activity whenever the reference changes now inside the on pre execute method of our TechCrunch task over here what I'm gonna do is use the callback object I'll check if callback not equals to null then I'll simply say callback dot on pre execute the same way I'll go here and inside our on post execute I'll say the same thing we callback not equals null then callback dot on post execute and then pass the result object over here so what is this gonna accomplish inside our on pre execute inside our task that is our TechCrunch task it will be saying callback dot on pre execute callback is nothing but the interface implemented by our main activity which means its on pre execute method will be called same way when the task runs and its on post execute runs what's gonna happen is it's gonna say callback dot on post execute which means it's gonna call the method inside our activity where we can work with things over here if you want to see if this works or not I can have a log statement inside our activities on post execute and here I can directly print our result just to show you that this thing works over here so let's run this and take a look at this in action over here BAM there you go take a look at that all the results are being displayed now these results are contained right inside our activity so that we can work with them we can update our list view and do all the things and even if the activity rotates this is gonna work perfectly because we have made sure that we created the rotation proof async task in this case now the next thing that we need to do is create the adapter and display the data inside that adapter that's the only step that remains in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Note, and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.